Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're looking at Cody Bellinger of the Los Angeles Dodgers. He's going over um, a step-back drill that he likes to do with his hitting routine. Uh, I'm going to play the video so you can hear it, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. I usually do a quick step back because um, sometimes I tend to go forward a little bit, so I step back, feel the weight in my back leg, and kind of go from there. Okay. You want to take a couple and show us that one? I like the step back. Bam! We'll just that get ball the... was on the black, and we went to bright there. Middle homer. Okay, so as we've talked about before, most hitters, pretty much every hitter at the major league level or, or high, you know, a hitter that's at a pretty high level is going to have a routine where they're going to get into the batting cage early, and they're going to go through similar drills each day. It's not that it has to be the exact same thing, but a lot of them will stick with similar drills that kind of get them locked in and get them working on certain things in their swing that they feel like they need work on. For Bellinger, he talks about the step back drill. He says he has a, a, a you know an issue sometimes going forward, and so you know the interesting thing, and I see this a lot when I watch major league hitters, is their swings when they're in the cage, um, especially here where he's you know he's on television. Um, it isn't exactly; it's actually not really even that close at all to his game swing, and so you know when he steps back here, what he talks about and. You know, I like the step back drill. I do think it gives you a feel of kind of getting around your back leg and getting into your back hip. And so you're going to step up or step back. And then you're going to gather and then move back towards the pitcher. Um, you know, when he does it here, in a normal game, he ends up getting in a, a lot different posture than he does right here. So he's really vertical here. In the game we've talked about before, how much his butt gets out and his chest really gets over. Um, here he's not getting there and he's actually getting into his front side pretty early here so he's more shifting into his front leg upper body's kind of leading him forward and then he swings you can see he's really has kind of a downward path to the ball so again not really doing what he does in the game and that's it's interesting because a lot of guys a lot of big league guys especially when they're just kind of going through some drills or just getting loose early on they'll kind of do this but um, I do like the step back drill as far as feeling, you know, all you're going to do again, you're going to start, usually we'll have our hitters start with their feet a little bit closer together. They're going to step back with their back foot. It doesn't have to be a big step back. He steps back really far here, just enough to where you're going to be able to step back and then pick up your front foot and feel like you're going to get up against your backside. You're not swaying back, but once you put, get that back foot back there, you're going to start to feel like you're coiling around, you know, around this leg. So you're going to feel your butt kind of get out. You're going to feel your chest get over. And you should feel some coil around that, that back leg. And then you want to try as you move back towards the ball or back towards the pitcher, you're going to feel like you're kind of riding that, that feeling out. You're going to stay in that good posture. You're not going to just fall into your front leg. You don't want to just shift forward and then swing. You want to ride that feeling of... Um, staying in your back hip as you move forward and that's going to allow you to stay behind the ball um, and not get over your front side keep everything connected on the back side as your you know as your lower body starts to turn and then eventually your upper body's going to turn um, so I like the drill I wanted to throw it up here uh, because I saw it on TV um, and it's always interesting to look at guys' routines in the big leagues. You know, routines are such a huge part of, of baseball. As you start to get older and start to have some more time, and even if you're a younger player, it's important to find, you know, f even if it's only five minutes before uh, a practice or a game, just to be able to go through a couple of things that get you locked in um, that you can add to your routine. It's really, really important to make you feel like you're prepared and ready to get into the game and play. Um, so... Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Check out the um, description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys that I think you will enjoy. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and we will talk to you later.